Yeah, good job. All right, boys, welcome to TC Customs. We have an official setup today. We're mic'd on. We got a light over there. Who buddies is sick. Um, all right, so a considerable amount of time ago, I was watching the TV, okay? And there was these tractor pulls going on. Everyone's watched those on TV, watch them in person, yeah. So on the tractor pulls, I was watching these tractors rip down the thing, and they have no smoke, zero smoke coming out of the exhaust, but they sound like diesels. Okay, so young me, young myself, was a little confused on what the heck was going on, and this just has been logged in the back of my mind for X amount of years, okay? So what these tractors were running on, they were running on methanol. They were running on pure meth, and it was looking sick. They sounded cool, they were ripping, big horsepower, straight meth, diesel running meth. Okay, so what's going on with that? So behind me you see Merle. This is a 1984 Mercedes 300D five-cylinder turbo diesel. Mechanical fuel pump, whatever, it runs. It's running probably the best that's ever ran currently right now. So we could end up destroying it in today's episode. Damn it. I've been thinking about, you know, well, what do you have to do to convert a diesel to run methanol, okay? So we could call the experts, we could call SPE Dan, we could call whoever, um, call a scientist, get the burn information, the burn ratio of methanol, call in some advanced diesel guys and get a modified pump or modified injectors or the whole process to properly do it. Or, or you could run a methanol injection kit such as this here. Now this is a Snows, not sponsored, whole meth injection kit. But that is also not as fun. So us here at the HQ, instead of going the professional route, we're gonna go the redneck route, redneck route which you can call it that. So what we have, oh, five gallons of your finest methanol. This is 99.98% pure methanol M1, VP M1. Fresh brand new can. If you're asking why the can's like this, it's because VP are, is running into a shortage with their can, so they do different can. This can's compressing on itself, doesn't matter. Cheapy can. So upon research on the interwebs, I found a couple articles on people, on scientists and test subjects and whatever you want to call that, mixing methanol with diesel fuel. They're doing a methanol blend such as 10% methanol to diesel, 20% to diesel, 30% to diesel, M10, M20, M30. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix that with diesel, we're going to pour it straight into this car, unmodified, and we're going to see if we can successfully make our own methanol blended diesel fuel, see what it does on our own test subject. So the character here is Merle. Merle, the test subject, mechanical diesel. If this goes well, if we see a result with the old butt dyno on the road, you better believe. Oh yeah, butt dyno. That's what they call it. Oh yeah. Okay. You better believe that we're gonna slap this in the black truck, which is the platinum, and in the blue truck, which is the Velosa Duty. And also, with the Red Baron, which is right there, the Cummins, which is currently hurt, which we're working on that. So moving forward, we have ourselves uh, paint mixing buckets. We went to the Home Depot and got paint mixing buckets with the proper ratios. Look at all those numbers. Uh, so we got a little one and we also have a bigger one. Also, we have an auxiliary tank for working on whatever you want to work on. Maybe our ratio, our first batch, will go straight in here and we'll put this straight into the mechanical fuel pump and we're going to see what happens because Yesterday we were hammering the car and we ran it out of fuel, so we know that there's no fuel in the car currently. Holy shit. But we'll hang this here because, because it looks cool and it looks scientific, so that's staying. Real quick, before we get into this, I do want to say that there are a bunch of benefits, so-called according to Google, uh, on running methanol in a diesel. No emissions, zero particulate matter. Uh, it produces the same amount of power. It burns a little bit more efficient. I don't know how much it burns, so we're gonna find that out. What if it burns it like super fast and then like you have no fuel, like you're out of fuel and you gotta keep filling it up. A lot of, we got a lot of questions with this, a lot of questions. I don't know if they're all gonna get answered today, but we're gonna find out. All right, so we're gonna start right in the middle. We're gonna do a 20% ethanol blend, which is M20. So we're gonna start with one gallon of fuel and 20% of that will be methanol. 25.6 ounces of methanol to one gallon of fuel will give you a M20 blend. Now this is 99.98, so you probably wanna bump that up a percentage. 26 divided by two, 13. All right, so we're gonna bump it to just 26. We'll do 26 ounces to a gallon. 
slightly above, give or take. 26 ounces, our cup goes to 24, so we're gonna divide that by two. We're gonna do two ratios of 13 ounces. Crap. Amateur mistake. I uh, didn't pull up the spout before I pulled that off. I'll try not to spill this. I can't see. Oh. Pretty heavy, dude. Might only need a little bit more. Are you looking? 13 ounces. Why would it be super precise? That's not fun. 13 ounces in the bucket. We need 13 more. All right. Struggle is real on this, I'll tell you that. So 13 ish. Going in. Wow, is that clear? My hands are cold. Okay, so now we have 26 ounces. Looks pretty good, can you smell that? Gallon of diesel going in. Or no, we need to bring it to a gallon. Whoa, it looks weird. That look pretty good from out there? Maybe a little bit more. All right, we have a precisely mixed gallon of M20, which is 20% methanol, 80% diesel. We're right on that, right? They're not gonna say your ratio's messed up, like ratio, like get, ratios get confusing. You know what I'm saying? Like when you get talking ratios, you can get weird, quick. It looks weird, I will 100% tell you that. I don't know if this is gonna work. What do you mean? Now, I don't know the difference in viscosities or whatever the technical term is of the, the type of liquid. I don't know if it separates. I don't know if it stays together. Like I said, we didn't ask anyone. We're just doing it ourselves. You said I'm not going to spill it. <laughs> it's probably good. All right, we're pretty full. It looks to be that the, the methanol is still mixed with the diesel. We're getting a little on the floor, but that's all right. It's like we're the pioneers in our own garage here, but this has already been pioneered, so we're just pioneering it for ourselves. All right, now we didn't warm up Merle whatsoever. We just hung this, as you can see, and we're connected, we're connected straight to the lift pump. All right, Petcock's open. We should have fuel going to the lift pump. 20% methanol in. We do have a drip down the bottom. 20% methanol, lift off. to prime the whole fuel system. Uh-oh, something's happening. It smells weird. All right, we're about out of fuel in the tank. Okay. So what did we learn? It runs rough. Like pretty rough. <laughs> Definitely stinks. It smells weird. It doesn't smell like traditional diesel burnage. Like before your eyes would burn in here right now, but they're not burning really. We burned about all of the bottle. All of the bottles burned. So we burned a half a gallon of M20 in the Merle, straight into the lift pump. Wasn't too happy, 
Now, I don't know if that's because it was cold, like it's cold in here, or, or what. So it will run. How good? Don't know. What we're gonna do now, what, what, so right now, what should we do? Should we drop it down to M10, slap it in the tank, and then drive it? All right, boys, we mix it up. M10, 10% 10 10 methanol. We never mixed it. It'll mix as it's dumping. Okay. So this is 10% methanol to 90% diesel at three gallons total. Going straight in the car. We're done playing games with the auxiliary bottle. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get a steady pour going. Look at myself. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Three gallons are in, minus a little on the floor. <laughs> That'll be all right. Where's the gas cap? We're just gonna wing it. In that thing, there's a little holder for it. It's fancy, it's a Mercedes, dude. Everything's back together here, let's fire her up. Uh-oh. Oh, buddy. Now I tell you this guys, in full confidence, Merle has never done that. That is a new one, but it could be air in the lines because we had the main fuel line off. It sounds strong, dude. It would puff it before. Yeah. I mean, on on 10% methanol, it is purring. What, what is the plastic? What? What's it, what's it this. Yeah. A little blow by. What do you want to blow by? A little blow by. We can, it can use a rebuild. <laughs> oh, I'm there, man. Dude, I mean, what more could you ask for? We got a driver, let's go. I know what this car felt like before, and I know what it feels like now. An actual difference, a real difference. 10% methanol blend, dude. Now, if this is a well-known thing, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could just pour a little methanol in your diesel and, and, and increase performance or whatever. I didn't know. All right, 
Guys, we are in fact a few miles into part one methanol blend M10 and Merle. And it, it is a successful trip so far. Merle is absolutely loving the M10 blend. So, I mean, we're gonna keep driving it. We're gonna see, I, I don't see any red flags. Everything seems normal. I don't know if the fuel pump is getting absolutely tore up. I don't know that. It could be because of the meth. Yeah, the meth. It could be ruining the pump and the injectors as we speak. We could we can end up breaking down here. But like I said, I don't know. We did we literally asked no one, no expert opinion on this. We are voyaging, we are self-voyaging down the road and it runs it runs so good All right, guys, we might have gotten Merle broke and or stuck, but thank you for tuning in to part one of the methanol diesel challenge, if we call it that. I don't know what we're gonna call it, something like that. Um, realistically, 10% methanol in the diesel fuel in Merle runs very, very well. The 20 ran a little rough. I don't know if that might've been fuel or air in the lines or whatever, but the 10% is running very, very good, realistically well, so we, like I said, part one, thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, join the family. Keep an eye out for more methanol diesel challenge, scientific, create your own fuel madness because we're not leaving it at that. We're gonna keep on going. But yeah, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was cool. Murrow is for sale. Everything's for sale. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I never hit record. Why? <clears throat> we are stuck though. Definitely.